welcome to to the new apartment um if you remember last episode there was something under the fur bed cover it was actually a dead goat so but it, it's a nice place other than that the kitchen is spacious i'll show you that in a future episode the kitchen is surprisingly spacious and well equipped so um really happy with that now uh, let's get into some we've had the transfer windows closed stuff happened <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Nothing happened. <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> I tricked you. It's really, actually, really good news because, weirdly, um, this is the one we were most worried about, Nazarenko. He has been injured, so that does help. Um, we didn't do it on purpose. He That was him. He injured himself. Uh, we didn't definitely didn't hire anybody to injure him. Um, He's wanted to leave since being relegated. He's got a release clause of 2.2 million, all that good stuff. He waited the entire summer and waited two days before the transfer window closed to hand in a transfer request. And I was like, no. And then nobody came in for him, which is good. Which we, we assumed this was the case because there didn't look like any teams with 2 million to spend that could come after him. Uh, we are 1.1 million in debt. We'll keep an eye on that as we go through. We played a few games. So we did lose against the mighty Cobra. I thought it was going to be a snake on their badge. It's a boat. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, we they. This was a tough one. They went 1-0 up. We were playing well. We had two goals disallowed. And then we went really attacking. Uh, Holovko, the left, the young left winger, got, got, got a goal. And I was like, okay, we're at home. We're playing better. We're dominating them. So I carried on going crazy attacking, hopefully to get the winner. And then we gave away a silly penalty for a push in the box. But that was a bit more unlucky. And then we beat Hurinek 2-1. Holovko with another goal. And Kodratenko with the goal. So that's very, very nice. Um... One thing I want to point out, we're top of the league. I want to point out Summy. They are going on some amazing run. They have got seven draws. So they are undefeated, but they've got seven draws so far this season, which is hard to do. Look at that. It's really hard to draw that many games. You couldn't do that if you tried. Um, <clears throat> so they, they look like a decent team, but they've got to start turning these into wins. But that's fine by me because we're five points clear currently, despite losing three more games than them. Right, okay. We've got a few injuries. Kodrekin, sometimes I can say it, sometimes it just doesn't go in. Um, he's, yeah, he's fine, 95%. What's he on about? What's wrong with him? He's in rehab. Right, so we've got Dorenko coming in. I was I was thinking Dorenko might do bits this season, but he's, he's done no bits. What's what? He's done one bit. He's done two bits if you count assists. But that's not really good enough in 12 appearances. Uh, Holovenko who has come in for the injured Nazarenko, has scored himself a couple of goals. He's improved dramatically, which is really, really good. Uh, Marcos is just doing bits, absolute bits, as we uh, predicted. Uh, the rest of the place, our young Armenian, I didn't buy him as a joke, but it was just quite random that we'd found an Armenian wonder kid. Um, he's our best defender currently, so that's good news. And Yurchuk's doing pretty well as well, so it's dynamics-wise... Yeah, so we've added another negative. You're failing to positively influence a number of players. And I think that's due to the fact that loads of them still want to leave. So you can't fix that. But we've got a strong relationship with a number of players. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Um, but hopefully, now the transfer window's closed, they might cheer up a little bit. Like Now they realise that, yeah, look, look, look. We're winning the hearts and minds of the people there's only four that oppose me, three that support me. This is good. This is good. We're getting there. And once I think we're already a good side, but once I think we people are less unhappy about playing for this club, we should be okay unless Sammy decides to start winning games and not drawing them. Right. Morale boost. I'm going to give him I'm going to give him a bit of green. Everything we need to do to give them some happiness in their lives. Um, I didn't see where Volin were in the league, but we'll worry about that after. <clears throat> is this? This is a long kickoff highlight. Is Are we going to score from a kickoff? It's a rare beast indeed. Score from the kickoff. It's Koga. Space on this right-hand side. Lovely ball out to Lysenko. He's not done a great deal so far. 
Not the best ball in. Jagny plays it back to Marcos on his left peg. Oh, he's only gone and scored. Get in there, Marcos. Oh, this guy. This guy. I was going to say we need to sign him, but he's, he's like worth £5 million, pounds, isn't he? So, yeah, maybe, maybe we just enjoy him while he's here. Maybe at the next club we sign him because he's, he's a bit of a beastie. Uh, Volino are seventh in the league, so they're not a bad little team. <clears throat> Oh, the early breakthrough. Oh, a rare beast indeed is the kickoff goal. <laughs> right. Holovko's deadaged. He can play to half time. He'll be fine. They're trying to send in some low crosses. Okay. Stetskov. Interesting set piece. Play it all the way back to a defender. I like it. Right, easy to deal with, but we need to win the second ball. Marcos got the flick on, but Olokpo... Varenko, something. <clears throat> What's his name? Venchuko. Oh, look, he's all over him. He's all over him. This guy's a beast. It's going to be pretty much all down to him if we get promoted this season <laughs> and keep our job. The board are currently pleased, as you'd expect, with us being top of the league. Make a tackle. Somebody make a tackle. Ah, Botka. Botka, Paul in. It's a penalty, in it? Fucking dive. Do you see him? Superman diving. Jesus. Leonov up against Yurchuk. Go on, Yurchuk. Oh, my word. How are you not saving that? He hit it down the middle. You stayed in the middle. How does it still go in? Yurchuk. Jelly hands. He's got jelly hands. Look. He reads it well. He's, he's walking back into the goal. It's not ideal. Holovko's knackered like dead. He's he's actually actually dead. So we will take him off Kobach, which is annoying because he's scored a couple of goals. Okay, it was a bright early start, but it's uh, gone a bit tits up since then. All right, Kogut into Marcos. No, nice, I like it. I like it. Derenko, oh, why are you so bad? Why are you so bad? Oh no, Leonov. We've got men there. Like four of them, how nobody's going to make a tackle. Avionov into Gorbanov into Zinkevich. Zinkevich, we'll go with that. <coughs> Avionov, come on, boys. We're not seem to be making. Oh my words! What are you doing? <laughs> Mate, kick the ball away! It went right next to you. Oh, this is the turnaround, boys. This this defending from Neplik. N nipple, I call him nipple. Look at this. It went right next to him. Surely he could have kicked it. I feel like he could have kicked it here. Look, <laughs> no movement whatsoever to try and stop that ball coming in. <clears throat> okay, it started so positively. They've had two shots, they've scored two goals, and we are 2 1 down. Hmm, okay. Not a Sammy drawing. Yes, they are. Of course, Sammy are drawing. I'm going full aggressive. Yes, yes, motivated. Okay. Marcos is like, why am I playing with such shit footballers? Look at it. There's a, definitely a difference. <clears throat> um, he's in... Don't really... Lysenko up. I know you can play right wing, but can you play... Yeah, go on then. Alexeyevich for Lysenko. <clears throat> Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Right, get creative. Bob Ross this shit. Right, Dorenko's anxious. Is that because you're shit at football, Dorenko? Hmm? Are you worried that people have discovered you're shit at football? Make a tackle. There it is. Marcos wins it. He's having to do literally everything on this pitch currently. He's the deep-line playmaker that's also the ball-winning midfielder and the box-to-box -box midfielder. He takes all the set pieces. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Win it. Second ball. Second ball. Leonov. Zinkevich. Gorbanov. Zinkevich. They're toying with us, boys. Make a tackle! Somebody! And even attempt it. I don't mind if you miss. Stick a foot in. Jesus. I, like, my players aren't actually attempting to tackle anyone. Just run around holding hands with them. Right, set piece. Could have let that go out probably, but we've kept it in for him because we're we're gentlemen. Right, there's Marcus 
doing what he can. Doom! Oh, what is... Ref, come on. We are getting dominated. Right, give it ten minutes more. This is shit on a stick, this, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> right, just push the wings up. Offside. Oh, no, get stuck in. We don't want to stay on our feet. Get stuck in. Fuck them up, boys. And we want to counter press. <clears throat> I'm going to go very attacking. Summy, Summy draw. Yeah, the nil nil, Summy. Team! I know I've got five subs, and before people put in the comments, why aren't you using all your Because we don't have that good a team on the bench, is the answer. <clears throat> um, it's just like shit for shit, isn't it, at the moment? Five minutes left. Victor Panin's coming on. Wow, the only good moment we had in that match was th the first 30 seconds we were dominant. <laughs> Great. That, that's, that's just shit, lads, isn't it? That's just shit. There's no two ways about this performance. They're, they're a solid mid-table side. And we've made them look good. Because we don't like to tackle, it seems. We just like to walk up to the players with the ball and then... Have a chat to him, I guess. Marcus is the only dude trying to make tackles. In, in I think in the entire game, we've seen him... Okay, he's fouled twice. But at least he's sticking his foot in. Right, just end it, ref. Just end it. <clears throat> Terrible performance, that was. That was one of our worst performances of the season so far. Okay, we're playing a book, book of... Oh. Bukovnia, Bukovnia, we'll go with that, Bucky Thistle, we're playing Bucky Thistle, right, just take, turn it into something I know, we're playing Memphis to Pies, playing at Barcelona, alrighty then, alrighty then, okay, forget this game, we'll go on to the second and we will destroy, right, easy win predicted for us today, not a fan. Not a fan of that. Nazarenko's back from injury finally. He's still unhappy. He's still wanted. All that good stuff. But I'm going to give him a half of football. Um, our left midfielder is uh, Holovok. Holovok? Yeah. Hollow is um, got food poisoning. Great stuff. Maybe that was what happened during the match. Um, I'm going to give Sheppel. He's had really good training this week. Uh, and, and we saw what old Eugene did last game. So we're going to give Sheppel a game. I think he long term will become one of the two main centre backs. To be honest, um, Sayenko's playing a six point six six. The number of the beast. Let's get him. Get rid of him. <clears throat> and we can put you on the bench. The rest of it kind of picks itself. All right, Marcos, come on, Marcos. You've got <laughs> you've got to carry us, man. Carry us. It's good to have uh, what's his face back though. Even unhappy, scored a couple of goals, got himself an assist. Right, here we go. Are they like bottom of the league? Old Chernivsky. Um, no, they're not. They're ninth in the league. Um, Summy did win their last game. They scraped a one-all. Oh, we've got an injury. This is a great start. Great start. Nazarenko, straight in. Back from injury after a month out. Straight in. You had 15 minutes off, mate. Enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, Sammy did win. So that's unfortunate. We are playing in the lovely blue number today. Well, it's, we want to see some better. Koga, he's just given up on it a little bit there. S Sapenko. These names, the Enkos, are amazing. I'm just going to call him Greg. That's a lot of... Oh, Greb. Good tackle! There's a Nazarenko with a tackle! Maybe it's only the best players that could... Oh! Dorenko gets his second of the season, finally. I had high hopes for you, son. It's supposed to be better. But Nazarenko making the tackle. That's what we want to see, a tackle. Look at that. You get the ball off him, you win it back. It's such a good idea. Tackles are so underrated. Right. And we're winding up early. When has this ever gone wrong? 
It's a pretty even game, to be fair. Yurchuk is complacent. I like a complacent goalkeeper. He's probably just sitting having a cigarette. Leaning up against the goalpost. Not giving a shit. Right, Kogut wins the header. They've got it back. Marcus intercepts. Plays it. Durenko. Out to Jagny. It's a terrible ball, but Durenko's pounced. Durenko. Oh, that's it. Is this... Oh, is this the breakout game for Durenko? It's a brace in the first half. It was a lovely steal there. It was a really poor pass from Jagny. Or maybe he knew the centre-back was shit. Oh, I'm just going to give it to him. He's terrible. And Derenko pounces, and it's a great finish. Little daisy cutter into the bottom left. That's more like it, boys. Two goals. How's Sammy doing? They're drawing. <laughs> but it's actually MFK. Mm -hmm. Them lot. That's better. Well done. Very happy. Good. Fitness. Good. Go. Good. <clears throat> Not seen much of Marcus. Go on, Marcus. I'm going to give him a bit of praise. Remember, when morale is dodgy, anytime you can praise them, do so. You've got to win these, win these boys over. That's what we're trying to do. We've got three complacent players. That's great news. Okay, it's a throw-in, but throw-ins are tricky. Oh, they've managed to get it to a teammate. What a tackle! Jagney, the, the striker, doing bits. He's beaten him. Oh, okay, sort of didn't really sort of just accidentally dribble past him and then got tackled. Get him, Marcus. Oh, Marcus, look at the turn of pace from the lad. Early ball forward. Jagney's going to get it, though. Nipples it down. Plays it into the, the beast, Marcus. Kobach. Can we find a good ball in? It's not great, but oh, that's a bit of a scoop. <laughs> good clearance, good clearance. He thought he was offside. He was just trying to time waste. <clears throat> let's just go, and let's go. Bit of, bit of time wasting. Then we can use our five subs to <laughs> slow the game down. Like Kadrenko, Pajagni. Better, much better performance, lads. Asami winning. Where are they? I've lost them. They are drawing nil-nil. It's just what they do. Um, Kozlov, you can come on. Just for two minutes-ish. Okay. this we, A clean sheet would be nice. There we go. Dovgi lumps it forward into the abyss. And that should be it. Much better performance. Professional job. <clears throat> And you can see the difference, the the quality difference when, like, we've seen with Marcos, but even with, um, what's his face? What's his, what's his face? What, tell me, what's it, um, Nazarenko, like, winning the ball back and doing it and passing it to a teammate. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing we should really try and concentrate on. Right, so we have survived the transfer window without too much... Terribleness happening to our teams, like release clauses getting met and all that sort of good stuff, which is really good. We've, I'd say, strengthened the team. Overall, we strengthened. I think with the addition of Marcus, I think that that pushed us over the edge. We've definitely strengthened. And whilst being relegated, which is actually quite an achievement, uh, Sami did draw. That's their eighth draw of the season. So we are four points clear. Not what it once was, but that's fine. Um, the Senko's out for... Extra year, pay increase, great stuff. Dorenko, though, hopefully that's the sign of a good run of form. <clears throat> um, when's our... Is there no more cups? Is there just one cup in, in Ukraine? Okay. Is there a winter break? Oh, my word. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back for the draw versus Sami. We all know it's going to happen. And uh, Donetsk. And then we will have our winter break. Fucking hell. It's a long old winter. It takes so long. It takes so long. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.